Welcome to the OLV Daily Reflection for Tuesday, June 28th. Today's Gospel passage for the Daily Mass comes to us from the 8th chapter of St. Matthew's Gospel. It reads, As Jesus got into a boat, his disciples followed him. Suddenly a violent storm came upon the sea, so the boat was being swamped by waves. But he was asleep. They came, woke him up, saying, Lord, save us, we are perishing. He said to them, Why are you terrified, O you of little faith? Then he got up, rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was great calm. The men were amazed and said, What sort of man is this who even the winds and the sea obey? I'm sure many of you can be sympathetic to this experience that I've had many times in my life where you know through faith that God is faithful. You know through faith that God is loving. You know through faith that grace upon grace is being poured out into your life. But your emotions overwhelm you or your emotions overtake the logical thought attached to faith. And this has happened numerous times throughout my life, um, especially, I would say, in my younger days. But even recently, I had this moment where it was clear that my emotions were driving my reaction to something and not faith, or at least knowledge of faith. And I highlight this reality because this is what the disciples experienced in today's gospel passage. Their emotions were were causing them to doubt. And again, it is Christ who, after being woken up, reminds them that even this can be addressed through faith in him. And he rebukes the sea, they are saved, and they arrive safely at the shore. But I also can just tell you that Christ knows our emotions too. So this rebuke, or again, this challenge that he places to his disciples is a challenge to all of us that sometimes our emotions do get the best of us. Our reactions are not where we should respond. And that's where, again, hopefully through faith and hopefully through some reflection of faith, we come to see things more clearly or at least see things more holistically in the light of everything we know about our God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the power of the Holy Spirit, and the entirety and entire analogy of faith. Because again, our initial reactions, especially under emotions, are not always correct and accurate. But also I think there's something else that we need to at least acknowledge as a part of this discussion. Our emotions are not always wrong either. Because I know that some of us have been told that emotions are bad, we're not supposed to feel anything, shove them down, don't pay attention. Well, the truth of the matter is, is an emotional response comes from something. And as I've mentioned before in the Daily Reflections, emotions are actually neutral. They're neither good nor bad. So we should not be people that push away all emotion either. What you feel is what you feel. It's just that we can't always trust our feelings to guide us to the most accurate, correct response. And we all know this through personal experience, but we can't be people that shove emotion away. Now, I do know that sometimes in our lives, it's very convenient to be emotionless or at least not be motivated by feeling but brothers and sisters that's not truthful either it's our emotions that sometimes help us to give the right response it's our emotions that sometimes help us to be compassionate and it's our emotions that help us to be truly human because we know that that piece of our lives does reflect many good and authentic and truthful realities as well So we need to have both realities, faith and reason, but also what many people call an integrated 
feelings or an integrated emotional life where they are held all together in a good and healthy way so that we can respond to situations in the best way possible and not become overwhelmed by anything that we experience in our lives but know that with prayer and God's grace we can always respond in a way that reflects our faith as disciples of Jesus Christ. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us.